Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Whichever time you're watching this video, welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my haul from Bath & Body Works. And also I want to share with you my experience that I had today. When I went in the store, I was, you know, just, ex I guess, excited because I went into a new store that they have um, in Georgia. And I went into that store to uh, make my purchases. When I got to the register, I was hoping to use my 20% off coupon, which was expired. But those who normally shop at Bath & Body Works know that they have a policy or had a policy to where you can get um, you can uh, use the coupon sometimes three days prior or three days after your per um, the uh, expiration of the coupon. You can go in and you can still use it. Well, today I went to the register to make my purchase and the young lady um, representative from Bath & Body Works told me that I could not use my expired coupon, which was on... Know if you can see it, it expired on the 31st of December. Here, it expired on the 31st of December, and she told me that I could not use it, so I could not use this coupon. I guess I'll try and see if I can call corporate and find out more information of whatever else is not like it was before COVID stepped in and changed and shifted the atmosphere. But as of now, from what I'm told, or oh, it was just that person, um, that store, um, they were saying that we can no longer use the um, expired coupons. But um, anyway, I put some items back because I did not want to spend that much money. So I just put, it, put some things back. So... I got what I wanted. They got some change from me, but they didn't get as much as they could have because I couldn't use the coupon. But here we go. I'm going to show you some of the things that I have. And excuse me, I'm going to put on my glasses and excuse the ring light in my, um, I, reflecting from my glasses because I'm still trying to work this thing out to where I, you know, you don't see that. I went in and um, the first, um, and you, everybody who knows Bath, about Bath & Body Works, they have their 75% um, off sale. They have it two times in a year, twice in a year, in June, and then they have it in December. Okay, um, and it, it uh, the day after Christmas is in um, December. And it's still going on, but most stores, the ones that I've been in, don't have much left um, of 75% off. Okay, and um, some of the things that they had I didn't think was good. Uh, oh, I said it wasn't my taste. So, I, you know, a lot of uh, perfumes and lotions I did not purchase. Um, I was trying to get me some wallflowers, and this is what they look like. If anybody know, um, here are the wallflowers. This is what um, I had invested in a lot of because we, um, I think we were running out of those. So we just purchased some more and I'm glad I did get some. And my daughter picked out these. So here we go. This is one of the new scents that I purchased. And this is the Mary Mimosa. And it says that um, uh, the fragrance notes are sparkling champagne, red apple slices, iced sugar crystals with essential oils. Now this one smells pretty good. So I purchased two of them. And you know, those who know my videos, if you've ever heard me say my... Um, Nose works when it wants to, so I am able to smell today, and I am very happy. Here's the second one. I'm sorry. This is the Fresh Sparkling Snow. 
And this fragrant note is grapefruit and orange, icy melon, winter pine. And they will sometimes show you um, the notes on the label and sometimes they want. And this is the peach um, Bellini. This one smells lovely. Don't know why I just like peaches. I guess we're living in Georgia. Who wouldn't? Um, uh, the Waikiki Beach Coconut. This one smells good. And this uh, fragrant notes is a tropical white coconut, salt water breeze, sun bleached woods. And I don't know how those things smell. But it smells pretty good. Um, and this is with essential oils. And I do have the lotion for this one. And I can show you this. I didn't get that today, the lotion today, but I did get the wallflower. Okay, and I did want to show you a coconut because this is a coconut. But um, this right here... They did have these, but I wasn't able to get them. I think they were this, I forgot. Um, they had these, I think they were there. I'm not sure if they were on sale or not, but I, I think they were, but I wasn't able to get it. I missed it. But this is a go-to coconut, this um, pink coconut Calypso. And I didn't get this today, but I just wanted to share with you with this. And I'm almost halfway, getting down to halfway, and this smells but anyway, let me get on with my, my um, business. Okay, they were um, those that I showed you of the wallflowers. Because I have several up here, y'all. Excuse me. Okay, these are the, the ones that I had. Okay, they were $4. Um, they ended up being $3.50. They ended up being $3.50 and... I wasn't able to get my extra 20% off, so I wish I could have gotten it, but I didn't get it. And it will show you here some of the things that I had purchased. Okay, and this was my first haul when they first started the 75% off sale. Some things were 50% off which were the um some of the wallflowers and i think let me see yes they were 50 percent off so they ended up being four okay what they had up here they were three and i had my stuff together i'm so sorry y'all um it's saying 340 here but I think they have in parentheses, they were $4.25, but I got them for $3.40. And this is the, I'm sorry, it's not. This is the Frosted Cranberry, and this one smells good as well. And their fragrance note is Iced Cranberries, Blonde Woods, Red Apples, and it's with essential oils. My next is the Winter Candy Apple, and I do have the lotion and the spray and I do enjoy this scent from Bath and Body Works and this uh, fragrant note is candied apples crisp pears oranges with essential oils mm. and I do like that and it's a fresh scent I have the peach Bellini again and this is a different one from the one that I purchased today and they do change their labeling throughout the year and I also purchased the fresh sparkling snow which I have two of them now I have the Mary Minosa Mimosa I have another one of those well I have I think I have three four hmm that was from my first haul. 
then I have the watermelon lemonade. Now, I didn't think I was going to get watermelon lemonade. I would eat watermelon now, ladies. I used to eat that back in the day. But I don't know. For some reason, I like the watermelon lemonade. I didn't think that. But I wanted to get the spray, but they didn't have the spray. So I do have the lotion of this water, watermelon lemonade. And their fragrant note is watermelon ice sparkling water um mayor lemon now i don't know what that smells like but it's with essential oils in it as well and this is the watermelon lemonade then i have the pineapple mango and this fragrance note is fresh pineapple juice mango vine ripe raspberries mm. Maybe that's something I would probably want to put in my kitchen. I don't know. But those at the time, which um, I did have two of these. My husband also has a um, an account with them. So one of them we were able to use. And this one I wasn't able to use. So that was... I'm sorry, y'all. Excuse me. Um... Oh, yeah, I did say what they were. And I did get a uh, champagne toast. I'm sorry. Champagne toast. And this is... The fragrance note is... Pink champagne, black currant, chambord. I don't know what that is. Um, sparkling nectarine sugared musk and it does smell good and it is very popular we went in several times uh, a couple of times i think and they had ran out of that we got the hibiscus um guava fresca and this is in the scent and my daughter she can smell she loves to smell the things from there and it doesn't have a fragrance note to it but it smells pretty good a nice fresh scent to it and then I got the hot spring spa I don't know how this is gonna be but it smelled pretty good I guess it smelled like a spa let me see if it has any notes in here but it said it's made with eucalyptus oil lemon oil cedarwood oil and it doesn't go into the fragrance note. And if it is, I don't see it. But it has a nice scent. I guess it smells sort of like a spa. Where if you would go into a spa, what it would smell like. Hopefully it's fresh. I have the Bali Black Coconut Sands. And that smelled pretty good. And there is no fragrance note on this. Mm, but it smells good. I'm not good with describing how something smells, but it smells good. That's good as I can get right now. Sorry, y'all. I have the Eucalyptus Rain and White Barn and Bath and Body Works are together. When you go in one store, they have some similar things. Some things will have white barn on it and some may have bath and body works. And this one has white barn on it. And this is the eucalyptus rain. And I don't see one on this. I have the bath and body works snowy peach berry. And I'm sorry if you can't see it. I have the White Barns um, Barn Sun Wash Citrus, and that did smell good. I have the Snowflakes and Citrus, and this has White Barn logo on it. I'm sorry if you can't see that. I have the White Barn Pumpkin Apple. And I don't get too many of these because something with like certain fruit scents, 
because some family members are not fans of them. And if some things didn't smell too good with pumpkin in it, but I think this one smelled pretty good. And this is the Frosty Cranberry with White Barn logo on it. And I don't see any notes on these, but here are all of my room scents, um, room sprays, and they were my room scents. I'm trying to get where they are. Okay, the eucalyptus. They were 50% off, so they were, I think they were 340 as well. Let me see. I think they were like 340. Well, I got the 20% the off, so I still use my coupon. And that's what gave me, if you can see here, it took off, um, if you can see like the 20%, 99 cent was taken off. That was, you know, some things were taken off. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my haul. And I, you know, have several, I have a nice little collection of them, but that was what I purchased during the 75% off sale. Hopefully there was something there that you saw that you may be interested in later on or maybe something to look forward to when they have their sale for 2021. You can check them out um, in June. If they don't make any other changes, I would say um, watch the YouTube videos, um, be on alert with them, subscribe to um, their uh emails so that you can hopefully get coupons if you're not getting them and you're making purchases call the um corporate number and they i think they have the number on on the receipt and you can call them and it, you know make sure that they are knowing that you are a valued customer so that you can reap the benefits of the coupons and get the um treats that you want it's nothing wrong with treating yourself, but I want to be wise in my purchases and not overspend. I'm not going to go and, you know, spend my mortgage on something, you know, my mortgage money on something and then not be able to, you know, enjoy the nice little treats that they have. But I'm saying, you know, if you can get the, the coupons that will help soften the blow, you know, on and you can be able to get more items, you know? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and leave a comment. You know, maybe I can help you with something or maybe you can help me with something. Feel free. Be blessed and have a blessed rest of your day.